Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and today on the channel we're going to be featuring a team all around the Buffalo Pokemon, Buffalon. So it is a normal type, it has been introduced within the Isle of Armour, and it is picking up a little bit of usage recently. So it's got a definite niche, it's got the Sap Sipper ability, makes it immune to grass type attacks, and when it does get hit with a grass type attack, it does boost its attack. So it is a quite a unique pokemon in a lot of respects it works in a similar way to what gudra has been used for at the minute um obviously with uh less weaknesses i would say just in a different mode and more of a trick room dynamic as well to play along with comfy as you can see we've kind of come com combine those two together here in the team so you can see the team on your screen in front of you now Bufflon, Comfy, Lapras, uh, Amoongus, Dusclops and Arcanine. So we've got the Intimidate support from the Arcanine and Grass type as well to give us a little bit more of a helping hand against things like Ferrothorn that could be a bit more problematic. We've got the Trick Room setters in our Comfy and Dusclops. We've got uh, Amoongus redirection there and it gives us a Grass type in as well to help against things like uh, Gastrodon, Primarina, things that would be a little bit more tricky to deal with. We've got Weak policy lapras here that plays off nicely with the comfy obviously with the uh, triage ability there and be able to proc that weakness policy and then support lapras really nicely as we've seen comfy do a bunch of times here on the channel with that floral healing and then you can also pair it up with the bufflon which is a an alternative dynamax pokemon and what we're kind of going for here today on the channel with that assault vest so without further ado let's lock into the team uh, as always the team pace will be down in the description below there will be a rental code at the end of the episode so do stick around for that and uh, we'll have a couple of games now with the team kind of showcase it talk through some of the mods with uh, how it works and uh, then we'll uh, we'll put that rental team up and lo and behold we've got a uh, kind of a mirror match here but it's uh, a little bit different because we've got a Gudra comfy team with uh, Duraludon, uh, Raichu, Ferrothorn and Primarina so uh, there's no definite, well, there is kind of a trick room mod in my opponent's team, but more of kind of, well, I guess there is with the, the Primarina Ferrothorn, definitely a trick room mod. And then you've got more faster mod with the, the Duraludon and the Gudra, their double dragon. So, um, you know, I do feel like uh, Lapras with the weakness policy does pretty well here. Um, Got to be careful with certain things, of course. Um, but we do hit a lot of stuff on my opponent's team pretty hard. So um, even though this is a Buffalant team, um, I kind of am more leaning towards going for the Buffalant. There's not a great deal that like, threatens us super hard. Um, although the, the, the Ferrothorn does worry me slightly. Um, and we, it means we're going to need to bring the Arcanine. I think we could probably get away with Comfy, Buffalant, and then maybe um, Arcanine and Amoongus in the back. That might not be a bad play at all. Because we technically need the Arcanine to deal, help us deal with the, the Ferrothorn, really. Uh, it does help us with the Duraludon as well, so uh, we can go from there. So let's see. Let's dive into it now. I, sh I really should probably bring the Lapras here, but for because this is Buffalant, um, and it is all about Buffalant, we're gonna we're gonna force it. We're gonna bring it and see what we can do. I believe it's a, a very good Pokemon. It saw quite a little bit of usage quite a little bit of usage it saw a lot it saw a lot of usage in the early days of um, x and y uh, when that format first came around in 2011 very early format played with musharana uh, taking advantage of the uh, the sap zipper abilities particularly against things like amoongus here um now with the assault vest we're in a decent position we could actually just go for max quake straight away i'd imagine the raichu is probably going to fake out comfy um in all honesty uh, that would be my best guess. You know, we could try for a trick room for sure. Just the extra special defense boost would be pretty nice, in all honesty, if we can get that. So we'll go for the trick room, see if we can get it. We'll go for a max quake into the Raichu. I'm guessing they're going to suspect that the, the Bufflant does max, so they'll probably fake out into the comfy here to stop our support options and we'll probably see the Primarina uh, Hyper Voice if it doesn't max here which it may do. I don't think it will though because Bufflon uh, on our side of the field going to be the slowest Pokemon uh, out at the moment so it would indicate that there's no max gone there so there's the Fake Out and Hyper Voice potentially. Yeah, okay. Uh, Bufflon taking that like a champ and now this special defense boost that we've got with Comfy as well going to mean that we're going to be able to take another one of those while we do get 
the right you down to its sash so that's quite nice for us um okay well it might be worth uh let's see what our options are now we could go for an attack boost as well right now if we want uh we could max knuckle we could max max steel spike as well max steel spike might be nice and go for a giga drain into buffalon as well just to give us that attack boost um and depending if we yeah we're not not going to see a max from my uh the opposing primarina so we're, we might be able to pick up the knockout here as we see an electro web come out from the right you're gonna lower our speed stat by one stage not so concerned really uh, as we see a moon blast into Bufalon leaving the comfy alone which is kind of interesting honestly um as you do get the steel spike gonna give us that defense boost as well which is quite nice just prolonging our, our ability to stick around a little bit longer now we're going to be in a position now where we can giga drain the permarina now with comfy and just go for another um attack into the raichu here and we're probably better off going for a knuckle now to boost our attack again um, and go for that Giga Drain into Primarina. That will be the end of our max turns, but we've got enough out of these max turns where we're, we've got enough boosts to kind of help us out going forward here. I'm going to see the Gudra come onto the field. Um, so we get the Giga Drain into the Primarina. I'm going to dodge any damage from that going into this next turn, which is always good. Uh, and we'll get the Max Knuckle into the Gudra, which should do a decent chunk of damage. You know, it's going to put us onto plus two. Um, and even though it is capped, you should still do. I mean, that's not bad, is it? That's not bad. 50% damage, even if that thing maxes the next turn. I'm going to be able to check out a head charge and probably pick up a knockout, I'd imagine, plus two Buffalon. And there's no way that Gudra's knocking us out this next turn. So we see the Comfy come out for my opponent. Uh, so we know what my opponent's got left. They got the Comfy, um, they got the Raichu, and the Gudra. Now, I wonder if we can get a Trick Room up. That would be incredibly good if we could um is it better to go for the iron head into uh probably not into the comfy i kind of just want to go head charge into gudra here um and i think i'm going to try and get a trick room my biggest worry here is the gudra uh, attacks into bufalan and um does enough damage to the head charge recoil takes us down and that would be I mean, at this point, Bufalant's done so much work, so it doesn't really matter. I think we'll be in a great position if we get rid of the Gudra um, to kind of clean up the rest of the, the team that my opponent's got, to be honest. So I don't think we need to worry too much there. It's just that could be something that could be a little bit of a problem. Yeah, the floral healing, not ideal at all, um, but not doing much there. The Wormwind coming out. Okay, we should take this. Yeah, like a champ. Like a champ. Um, but yeah, it does depend on how much damage we do and what the recalls are. I mean, we've got the floor healing as well the next turn, which is always going to be nice if we can survive this. Yeah, we do a big chunk. And manage to actually hang on, which is great. We get a trick room up, and now we're in a great position. Floor healing, head charge will get... Mm, well, it won't get the knockout onto Gudra, because I think the thing is, we probably need to go for our iron head, get rid of their comfy before anything i think floor healing into us because we're just going to be in this cycle of, of taking recoil damage and taking a lot of recoil damage every turn until uh, they're not maxed anymore so we're better off kind of preserving ourselves get rid of that comfy as well if we can um so we see draining kiss come out which is not going to really do very much at all as you can see uh we got the iron head and the bb reberry revealed um and we are losing our attack um, boosts as well, so you've got to got to keep that in mind. Um, Max Quake coming out. Don't mind this too much. Special defense boost, not too concerning for us right now because we are more physically orientated. Now another Iron Head should take down that Comfy. Um, now we could go Floral Healing, or we could go Sap Sipper and Comfy. I think probably Sap Sipper is probably a better idea. It's going to be the last turn of my opponent's Max as well. Um, just to give us that attack boost back, make sure that we do pick up the Comfy uh, with Bufalon. And I think even a double up into Bufalon now is not going to be uh, enough to take it down. Like the Draining Kiss and whatever the Gudra chucks out, it's just not going to be enough. Um, as we see another floor healing into the Gudra, which we don't mind at all. Because it's not really getting too much out of these turns, uh, if I'm completely honest. And getting rid of the Comfy is like the big thing for us. Because that's the support network for my opponent's team. You know, that is the thing that's going to... 
uh, prolong the longevity of these max Pokemon and, and other Pokemon that my opponents got as we see another Wormwind come out and um, yeah the Gudra not able to get any boosts at all um, is really the thing that's kind of helped us out here right she's gonna come in this next turn but we're gonna be able to get a floor healing off before it can fake us out I believe um, so that should help us and even if not we should be able to get a head smash into the Gudra and that'll be able to kind of deal with that now because uh, we are plus one um it's not max anymore so that should be enough to take it down as we'll just go head smash i mean head charge head charge and we'll go for that floor healing into bufalon if the right you fakes out bufalon here then it's fine we'll get the floor heal and we'll take an attack from gudra so it's a, you know we're in a we're in a super nice position to kind of wrap this one up pretty pretty comfortably and we still got two fresh pokemon sitting in the back so um but bufalon here we go here we go this is exactly what we want you know the feature match is sometimes a little bit tricky where we can't get the, the Pokemon that we like the team kind of based around to work as well as we want it to um, but really doing a lot of work here uh, as we see an earthquake come up from the Gudra just sacrificing its own Raichu not quite enough to get the Comfy on our team um, unfortunately because of that defense boost that we got with the Steel Spike earlier and that's one of the beauties about Bufalon as well you know it's max moves are ideal it's uh, it's really good at um, having the best like max moves to offer you know it boosts the special defense with the max quick boosts its defense with the uh, the max steel spike and then gets max knuckle as well to boost that attack and uh, max strike if you need it to lower the uh, speed on your opponent's team so very nice win for us there to kick off with and uh, we'll swiftly move on to our next match as we uh our team gets the uh oh, we don't no no disrespect to my opponent but we're on it we're on a time scale tight time scale we've got no time to check out teams just yet so um that is a nice victory and we will move on so yes like i say um bufflon doing really well there and it'll hopefully be nice to see it do a little bit better in this next one as we've got our next opponent playing a team of gorgeist uh urshifu PZ, Clefairy, Talonflame, and Rotom Wash. So, hmm. I mean, Comfy nice here to get the Trick Room up for sure. Maybe Comfy Arcanine isn't a bad play. Then we can get the Trick Room up. If we get, if we can get Bufalon into a Trick Room environment, I think that would be. And there's no Amoongus on my opponent's team to kind of threaten that, so that'd be. Would be a nice uh, option for us. I don't think we've really got much. Like, if we get the trick room over, it feels like we've got a pretty free reign to kind of do what we want here. Um, and if Comfy fails, I guess we could maybe um, rely on Dusclops or Amoongus. Uh, Amoongus is probably the better one because of threats like Urshifu and Rotom Wash. Could be a little bit problematic. I think Amoongus is a nice one, especially if we can get a Trick Room up. And uh, if we're in a, a really tight spot where um, we can't get a Trick Room up, at least we've got the redirection to kind of maybe help Comfy out a little bit there. The Intimidate's going to be useful against things like Urshifu um, and Talonflame, especially the Urshifu. Now, normally it's going to be critting with its whatever attack it's got, but close combat's a more threatening thing to Bufalon. So, you know, being able to Intimidate that that hasn't got that guaranteed crit chance is a little bit better for us so let's see if we can pick up a second of victory which would be extremely good i'd be i'd be super happy if we can uh, but buffalo aren't always a pokemon that i really liked i've always thought it's like um taurus like like 2.0 really isn't it like taurus it should have been the taurus evolution uh taurus a pokemon that i really do like as well but uh, again doesn't see as much play as it maybe maybe should Right, well, we see the PZ and the Clefairy. So what we can do is Trick Room, which is the main thing that we want to do. We've identified that already. Team Preview, we want a Trick Room. Uh, obviously, got to worry about Sing from the Clefairy, which it's bound to have. Wow. And uh, I think we just had a follow, whoever that was. Thank you very much for the follow. That's bled over into the, uh, into the video. Which it probably has done, so um, but whoever it was, thank you. I can't actually see right now. Yeah, like I say, we're going to be able to get the Snarl off into PZ. Uh, we've got to worry about, I guess, if they think we're going to Trick Room. Uh, they could counteract our Trick Room. Um, with a Trick Room if they are, that doesn't really get them anywhere. I mean, the Sing is the one thing that I do worry about on Clefairy. 
twice sometimes having safeguard on on Arcanine isn't a bad play but really what we want to be looking at here is they go follow me maybe protect on Clefairy and um, get rid of the Arcanine here because we can't survive an attack from uh, the PZ after the snow but getting that special defense drop is going to be going to be really big for us here up in hand ideal if they go after the comfy though we are sashed so it doesn't mean that arcanine is going to stick around and get another snarl off the next turn again just helping out um support the the, the porygon z a little bit um and reduce its attack stats so it's max strike coming out and it is into comfy um but like i say with the sash there this is the main reason why i got the sash on comfy because um, just for reasons like this, it just means that we can take those big, the huge attacks from PZ and make sure that we can get a trick room set up. Now, our speed has dropped on both Comfy and Arcanine, um, but at the same time, it's not the worst thing in the world because we do get a trick room up, which is the most important thing. Um, now it's a little tricky, of course. <sighs> Just because of the sing, that's what makes it more tricky than anything else, you know? And I don't really want to switch Comfy in to something. I mean, we could bring in a Moogus, and then we could put things to sleep, which might be quite nice. Um, it would mean that we, um, we'll go for another Snarl, of course. I think Alcanine at the minute is probably the most expendable thing on the team. It's probably not. They're never expendable, but the thing that I don't want to bring in is Buffalon here. I want to get Buffalon kind of in for free if we can. Um... Moonblast coming out, going to be into that comfy slot, so that's fine. Because we probably see a max strike into the, the Arcanine, I would imagine, to try and take that down there. But we do get a second Snarl off, which is so huge for us here. Um, and we've got Among Us on the field in perfect position. Where this next turn we can put the Clefairy to sleep and shut that thing down. Go for another Snarl maybe, or get Buffalon onto the field. Yeah, Arcanine going to tank that now on minus two, so... That's what I mean. The next turn we're going to be able to get another Snarl, slow this Amoongus down, uh, this Porygon Z down even further and get the um, get the Spore off into the Clefairy, which is which is nice. And this is the thing, what you need to do with PZ is slow it down because if it starts picking up momentum and getting those knockouts, that's when things get like really bad, you know, and that's when things get super tricky. So I'm hoping now we see Follow Me just to kind of protect the PZ from the sleep. Like, PZ's not really the, 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 the problem Pokemon anymore, you know, the, the Sing from the Clefairy is more of an issue for me right now. So being able to shut down the uh, the Clefairy is nice. We'll get another Snarl off and we'll probably lose Arcanine. Like, ideally we want to lose Arcanine now. That's what we want because we want to get Buffalon onto the field because the next turn we can go for the Steel Spike into the Clefairy, get rid of it there with Buffalon, uh, get the defense boost we put the pz to sleep and then start the um okay okay max max lightning there we go okay well not what we want to see uh because it stops us being able to uh put things to sleep but at the same time um it's not the end of the world because we are going to be able to rage powder i mean we could just giga drain um i mean what's pz i do worry about the hyper beam coming out i mean what is the pz is it minus three now minus three it's not gonna be doing anything it's not doing anything okay we're gonna go for a giga drain i'm gonna get bufflon onto the field right now we've got the assault vest as well so it's kind of further boosting our um special defense i imagine the uh the pz to maybe switch out here but it doesn't appear as it's going to. Uh, or is it? Uh, no, no switch out. We're very going to stay on the field. And uh, we're going to test your Giga Drain into the PZ. Get some nice damage there onto it. Um, always useful. The safer player, obviously, every time is going to be Rage Powder. So we see a Shadow Ball. Um, but I mean, if they Shadow Ball into Arcanine, that would have been a great, great result for us. I think the PZ is going to be in Giga Drain range now, honestly. So as we Giga Drain, and I will go for that Steel Spike into the Clefairy. We could be really cheeky here, honestly, and go for a Giga Drain into Buffalon, boost the attack, and get the, the plus one Steel Spike into Clefairy. Uh, so we've got that option as well to go for. You know, you don't always have to rely on the Comfy in the Trick Room. Um setting to take advantage of, of Buffalon. Um I still think the, the Porygon Z may switch out, you know. I do see, I can't see, I, it, it makes sense, yeah, to, to withdraw, reset those drops so you can get it in late game maybe and, and take advantage of it there. And we need to make sure that we're getting at least, uh, I mean, as long as Amoongus is sticking around on the field, it's going to be fine. Um, obviously the Rotom coming in there, 
uh, is fine for Moonga. It's going to lap up that Giga Drain into the uh, the, the rot and wash there. It's going to be super effective and hopefully be able to take down this Clefairy right now with a, a Steel Spike. I'm going to say, just get the defense boost, which is going to be super, super good for us. Uh, maybe in the late game, depending on what my opponent's last Pokemon is, of course. Uh, so there's a Giga Drain. This should take about 50%. Oh, not quite. So it's definitely a calm, calm. Uh, Rotom, probably a little, maybe, maybe just invested, who knows, uh, as we get the Steel Spike from Boofalot. Not quite enough to pick up the Knockout onto Clefairy, which is uh, not great, honestly. Um, but we'll be able to see the speed tiers here. Uh, okay, Dimension turn back to normal. Uh, it's kind of alright, honestly. I think maybe we go for another Giga Drain. I'm not really too... I am worried about the Rotom. It could have Will-O-Wisp. I don't really want to risk the Will-O-Wisp here. I'm going to go Max Quake into Clefairy now. Because we need that extra special defense boost. Because um, it's going to be one of those things uh, where PZ is going to come back in. And if we don't have that extra special defense boost, it's going to make it harder taking the uh, the Hyper Beam. Remember, we've only got, only got two max turns left. But then we can't see us getting clear in the field this turn. Um, unfortunately, the Rotom's probably got a berry as well, so we have to be a little bit careful around what um, what we do. I think just to be a little bit more precautious, because you know Willow West used to be a very common thing on Rotom Wash, but see, not so much anymore. That's what I do worry about a little bit. The uh, the nasty plot coming out from the Rotom, not ideal. Um, now it's going to be on plus two, so that does become a bit more of a threat. Obviously, Among Us not too concerned about that but um it is going to be a lot more threatening and um, going forward in this match than uh, it was before then getting caught a little bit my opponent making a nice play there uh, taking advantage of us having to get rid of the clefairy really because we need to remove it because the the, the follow me threat that's there okay so now i think what we will do is we will we will protect and i'm going to ignore the rotom and I'm going to go after the Porygon Z. I'm going to go after the Porygon Z. Because I think you double, like you've got to target the Amoongus here. I think if you're PZ, you've got to target it. You've got to. I mean, you could double into a Bufalon. I don't even think PZ Rotom is going to be enough to get the Bufalon. We'll soon find out though, because they might have just done that. Hyper Beam into Amoongus, yeah. And then, what are we going to see? Thunderbolt, okay into Amoongus, doubling in there, making sure they get rid of it, uh, all covering for a switch I guess, um, and we'll get the PZ, so that's nice, get rid of that threat, um, and also lower the speed on that Rotom, which might help us out a little bit later on in this match, maybe not though. Um, but I think with Amoongus on the field, like it's not really worried about a boosted uh, Rotom, so that, you know, that's the one thing that we don't need to worry about. And Urshifu coming in now. This is a bit of a problem for us, of course. But with uh, if we can just get some damage onto Urshifu now, uh, Comfy's going to be able to, to deal with it. What, what Urshifu is it as well? It's a fighting dark type. Okay. Well, we do have close combat. So it's got a wicked blow, I think. Um, Comfy and Arcanine. Mm. Okay. Let's... I have to, I think we need to, um, okay, no, let's Rage Powder, and let's Head Charge, now let's close combat the Urshifu, because then, like, the Rotom, if it protects, it, like, the, the Urshifu has to attack here, the Urshifu has to attack, it has to Wicked Blow, yeah, this takes down about 80% damage, it should proc a berry, Oh, it's not even doing that, so it's not banded. Hydro Pump. Oof, we get lucky, we get very lucky there. Um, okay, that's perfect. And now it's in Drain Kiss range, so that's ideal. So now we just Rage Powder and just Head Smash the Rotom. Um, a Wicked Blow might take us down, but a, a Hydro Pump from the Rotom is definitely not going to do that. So we'll just head, head Charge the Rotom. And that should allow us to get uh, comfy in and draining kiss for the win onto the Urshifu. So that's the like, yeah. Could have been a bit trickier end game, but um, I 
I think because they have to try and get rid of the Amoongus. The Amoongus being the big player here for us and causing my opponent all sorts of problems. Wicked Blast should take us down now. Oh, Amoongus hanging on with 2 HP. Here are Amoongus and going to be able to take whatever the Rotom throws out at us now. So <laughs> we might be able to uh, finish this game off with, oh man, another Hydro Pump miss. That is brutal. My opponent, that is very unfortunate. Head charge, what great animation as well. It's the first time I've seen the animation for that as well on uh, in game, so that's super nice. And Buffalo aren't gonna be able to literally pick up every KO in this match as we rage powder and sacrifice Amoongus for another head charge into the Urshifu, and I hope my opponent allows us to play this one out. Ah the, <laughs> the cancellation. Oh well, good game to my opponent and uh, two great games of uh, showing Buffalon. So I'm actually really excited for this episode going up. Uh, I really am looking forward to it. It's weird that we've got the Lapras in the team and we've not featured it, but it gives the team another dimension, another element for you to play around with if the Buffalon is an extremely bad pick in any games, you know. So as I said earlier, what we will do is we'll get the rental team for you guys. Again, like I always have been saying over the past few episodes, I am taking down a lot of the older uh, rentals. These new ones will be up for a little while. Um, but if there is any of the older rentals that you you had seen, you would like to play around with still, let me know and uh, I can put them up on my second switch. So I'm going to pick a team to take down. Which one is it going to be? Um, I think it might have to be. Ooh, the rabbit the rabbit because we've got everything new recently i think can't really take perish down because that's just recently gone up i'll be the next one to go down so i think it's gonna have to be the bunny the bunny's gonna have to go unfortunately oh, the bunnies just went up though that's the problem um bunny has just went up might have to be this one the gengar ishifu one don't make public okay i'm sad because i do love this team it's probably my favorite team uh, this gen honestly this is the oldest one so it makes sense to take this one down um and then i can pull the bouffalant um and make it public and then get the code for you friends 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 i like the poker pace will be down in the description the poker pace for all of the teams is always down in the description so it's always going to be there the information will be there for you to check even if the rental team isn't up but uh, we'll keep this one up for as long as possible you've got the bouffalant the lapras dusclops uh comfy among us and arcanine so the team did really well today there is a code hope you have fun with it if you test the team out try it out on the ladder do let me know as always though i'd love to hear and uh, that about wraps it up for today's episode thank you so much for tuning in uh, as i i always say if you have enjoyed this episode please remember to hit that like button it literally takes two seconds just to go down there smash the like and that uh, really helps the video more than you can know and uh, if you are new to the channel make sure you do hit that subscribe button as well for more of these videos and uh, future pokemon content so thank you so much for tuning in have a great rest of your dear friends and i will see you all for the next one so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye